welcome to On Stage with Hansel and Gretel. I'm your host and theater mom, Erin Bonai. I want to welcome you to promote our fourth show, which is Hansel and Gretel, at the South Park Children's Theater stage, and it is also a musical. Today I have several guests that I'm going to interview um, for this production, which will be on stage um, from July 22nd to July 31st. The outdoor stage at South Park Theater is a unique experience because parents and children can bring their own camping chairs, blankets, um, you know, to come and watch the show. There's really no bad seat. Um, there are snacks and drinks offered at a concession stand, and no show is longer than 90 minutes, and that includes an intermission. Um, also, prior to the show, which I find very cool um, experience, is that the actors come out in character to meet and greet the audience. So first up, I have three guests with me. I have Gabby, who's our stage manager. I have Kelly, who plays Gretel, and Sloane as Hansel. So welcome, all three of you, and thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Yes. Yeah, thanks. Absolutely. So I'm going to start with Gabby, who's the stage manager, and I'm going to ask, um, how long have you been involved with South Park Children's Theater, and like, how did you get started? So I started acting at the theater originally when I was 12 years old. Um, when I was about 15, 16, I was looking to find a summer job, and I was like, well, why don't I just work at the theater? It's a good environment, and I like to stay involved for as long as I can. So I acted for three years, and then I've been stage managing for the past five. Wow. Yeah. So are you in college now? Then? Yes. Okay. I will be a junior at West Virginia University. Awesome. And what are you studying? I'm studying to become a social studies teacher. Awesome. That's wonderful. There will be jobs for you when you get out, which I'm is I'm ready. Awesome. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so um, I will guess I will pass some of those questions along the same. Obviously, Gabby, some of your questions will be a little different. But let me start with Kelly then. Tell me how long you've been involved with South Park Children's Theater. Um, well, I started out in a summer camp there when I was eight years old in 2017. And ever since, I've been acting there, doing the summer shows, the winter shows. It's been so much fun. And I've also stage managed a couple of times, awesome. and that has also been a blast. I just love being there. Good. How wonderful. And how old are you and where are you in school at? Um, I'm 16 and I go to Baldwin High School. Awesome. Good stuff. All right, Sloan, so tell me a little bit about how you started at South Park Theater and then where you go to school and how old you are. Um, I really love acting and I've been in um, other productions at Little Lake Theater and the other theaters, mm -hmm. um, Matilda, Annie, um, and so I just thought that I would try out a new theater because my mom teaches at South Park and um, this it's like really like amazing for like me to go there because then like she can bring me there. Yeah, when well she knows some of the people in the area and things yeah, like that. Yeah, she knows. So tell me, how old are you and where do you go to school currently? Um, I'm 10 and I go to school here at Peter Township. That's awesome. Very cool. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right. So now I want to get into the specifics about the show. So I know from South Park Theater's perspective, other than Wizard of Oz, which was pretty close for the most part, um, tell me how the show is a little bit different without giving too much away from the original fairy tale. I'll start with Gabby. Um, so actually, funny story, I wasn't super familiar with the story of Hansel and Gretel whenever okay. I got assigned to be stage managing this production with Amanda. Um, so I had to kind of look up what the outline was, and yeah. I was like, oh, this is going to be a stage production? <laughs> <laughs> but then like, I got the script, and I was like, oh, OK, I see the similarities. But you know, it's obviously adjusted for children to consume. Right. So it. It's kind of, it hits the same beats of the original story, okay. but it's a little bit lighter, I'd say. That's good, so a little less dark, but also, I mean, I think it's really just like a fairy tale, which is actually pretty short. Now we've turned it into maybe like an hour-long musical, yeah. right? Okay, so I am going to ask um, Gretel, yes, um, AKA Kelly. So tell me a little bit about Gretel without, again, not giving too much away. So Gretel, she's, a kid as well, so is Hansel, but she kind of had to grow up quick because okay. her family, like, they're poor and they have to go out and work all the time. And so she's watching her little brother Hansel okay. trying to teach him about life and all of that fun stuff. And yeah, she's just always trying to be mature and kind of like the adult in this situation, even though sometimes it's hard because she wants to kind of like let her and her child come out sometimes too and have fun. 
Oh, how wonderful. Sloane, you get to be Hansel. Okay, yes. so tell me what your character is like. Um, Hansel's just, like, basically the normal little brother. Okay. He wants to play and have fun and do lots and lots of stuff. Yeah. But as Kelly said, um, she has to be the adult in this situation okay. and, like, make sure that Hansel isn't, like, doing anything he isn't supposed to and um, teach him. And, but, like, Hansel, Hansel doesn't want any of that. Of course not, right? He just wants to go have fun. Yeah, so is it fun kind of playing a little bit of a, like, um, I, I don't know, mischievous character? Yes, That's yes awesome. it is. That is wonderful. I love it. I love it. I can see the personality already. You have a good energy for that. That's wonderful. Okay. All right, so tell me, and I ask everybody this, and of course, you know, everybody says that they, you know, love the musicals, but tell me um, the difference, and I'll start with Gabby first, um, the difference between managing, if you've managed a state or a, a play versus a musical, but the stage managing, um, obviously music is different, but tell me what makes it maybe harder or easier to stage manage a musical. So I've stage managed both plays and both musicals. Uh, me personally, I enjoy stage managing musicals more because I feel like there's more, you can have more fun with it. There's more to work with because there's score and there's music. Obviously, it presents a bit of a challenge, especially with working with kids. Some kids have never even read sheet music before. Oh, that's true. And that's a bit of a learning curve. So we have to be able to, you know, like adjust that for, you know, different kill, uh, kids' skill sets. Right. But it's a lot of fun getting to work around with that and play around with that and seeing how each kid learns differently and like applying that to them. I find it to be more fun to stage manage a musical. Great. Now, Kelly, you've been in plays and musicals, yes. correct? Okay, so tell me, I guess, it could be like, maybe talk to me about the challenge of a musical as opposed to a play. Um, I'd say, me personally, the biggest challenge for a musical is the choreography ah, and the remembering dancing. the choreography. <laughs> but I honestly think that having a song in the musical is like easier than memorizing lines because okay. they're, they rhyme and there's like a, there's like a beat to it, and right. so I feel like that makes it a little bit more easier line-wise, but yes, the choreography. <laughs> can be a challenge. Yeah, it it's can different be a than challenge. just yes. having a blocking, right? Yes. Because a blocking, you're gonna move purposefully and stand there. Yeah. I'm, I'm a theater mom who knows nothing about theater. I've learned all this through my daughter and being involved <laughs> here, but I get that, that having that purpose, but you've mentioned a really good thing with, um, with singing, right? You know, it's it's easier to remember those, like you said, to remember those lines, and then maybe, but that choreography, you're probably moving a lot faster yes. than a blocking, so that tends to be it. Um, so Sloane, you mentioned, I actually did see Matilda at Little Lake, and it was wonderful. Um, so that was a musical. Tell me about, have you been in anything but a musical? No, I've only been in musicals. Okay. Um, but I feel like it would be a little easier to do a play. Okay because um, you just have to memorize lines um, and you don't have to memorize sheet music and choreography and fun stuff like that. Gotcha, yeah. Now, would you, yeah. Ever, would you ever consider doing a play or is it just, is it just happened that you've done musicals um, or is it you've gone purposely for the musical? I purposely go for a musical okay. because I do really like singing. Yeah. So, and do you take some private lessons? Um, kind of. Okay, I My didn't know how you got into singing. My piano teacher doubles as a speech, like for music. Yeah. Um. So yeah. That's awesome. So that's wonderful. I was wondering. So obviously you know how to read music. Yes. So Kelly, do you did you take like an instrument or singing lessons? Like, did you learn to read music, or did you learn on the spot too? Like, um, just here. I've I've learned how to read music because I play violin and clarinet okay. and I've started playing instruments in third grade but Great. I do also take private voice lessons okay. as well which is also really fun. That's awesome and Gabby I would think too with your interest in becoming a teacher probably stage managing is the closest thing I can come to cafeteria duty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, right, when they're yeah. backstage, everybody be quiet. Don't get yeah. anything on your costume. Make sure you're not running around. Get off of your phone. Yes. I mean, so, like, you're ready to go, girl. I feel like, you know, yeah. student teaching is going to be, like, easy peasy for you by the time you get there. Well, I mean, being at the theater kind of led me to want to become a teacher. Like, awesome. at first it was just going to be a little summer job, a little summer gig, just yeah. to make some quick money. Because, yeah. you know, I was 15. I had no idea what I was going to end yeah. up doing after I graduated. Um, but, you know, being part of the learning process for these guys has been like a blessing for me. 
And as I got older and as I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, I was like, I really enjoy working with kids. I think it is such, it's an honor and it's a privilege to be able to help be part of, you know, these guys, like, you know, them learning, like, not just to be on a stage, but learning how to be humans. I think that's so cool. And not everybody gets to do that. You're right. That's good. It's probably a good reminder for someone like me who's been teaching a long time. <laughs> so that's wonderful. No, and I agree. But I just, like I said, I just thinking about all that wrangling is definitely, that's, you have to have a good certain personality to manage that. Well, for I've sure. been pretty lucky as far as cast goes. I've mm -hmm. never really had any extensive issues with anybody ever. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, you know, stuff happens here and there, but I've been pretty lucky yeah. <laughs> with the kids that I've gotten. That's wonderful. All right, well, I think I'm going to end my questions with, and I'm actually going to start with Sloan and go backwards and kind of say, um, Sloan, since you have worked other places, and this is your first South Park Theater, children's theater production, tell me what is special or different that you like about South Park Theater that you could pick out um, different from the other places you've performed. Um, I like that it's outside yeah. because then, like, more people can come and everybody can see it almost perfectly fine. No, you're right. I also like how like there are both outdoor and indoor stages. Yes. So if like it's so like some shows can be outside and like right like all the summer yeah. shows are outside summer but shows the Fall and, and winter yeah. this year will be indoors. Yeah. So I'm with you. Like the being inside limits you. I mean, even um, Little Lake has a nice space, but right, but like just being indoors, like there's a finite amount of tickets, and once they're sold out, they're sold out. Whereas like you could fit a ton of people on some chairs in the lawn to come see you outside. Yeah. That's wonderful. So, Kelly, tell me, because I know you've done some productions at your high school. Yes. Um, so, tell me, how is this different than doing things either at school or anywhere else that you've performed? Um, I also agree with Sloan with the outdoor stage. That is super unique, and I've yeah. always loved that about the theater. And, uh, and, like, comparing it, doing it in school and stuff, like, I just love meeting different people from different schools. That is yeah. also such a wonderful experience. And the age range is so wide right. and it is so nice to like become best friends with someone who like you're not even close in in age and it's so much fun and everybody is so nice there yeah. and it you just feel good when you're there it's yeah I agree that camaraderie is what you know actually kind of prompted me to want to even you know invest in, and do these shows you know to promote things um, but my daughter has yes benefited from meeting kids of all ages all school districts those kind of things um, and Gabby, you've mentioned that it's been a wonderful, you know, lead off for you um, in terms of becoming a teacher. So, well, this is wonderful. I want to thank all three of you very much for coming and, um, you know, talking with me about the show. And when we come back, we will have um, a couple more actors from Hansel and Gretel the Musical. Hi, and welcome back to On Stage with Hansel and Gretel. I'm now here with Kat and Marin, two more of the actors in Hansel and Gretel. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Thank, Thank you for, for having, having us. us. Awesome. <laughs> Jinx, buy me a Coke, right? Okay. So Marin, I'm going to go ahead and start with you. And I want to ask you, who is your character in the show and what can you tell me about that character? Okay, well, I play the gingerbread witch and she's like, she's like the main villain. She's nice. like super, super evil and she likes to bake kids and turn them into gingerbread cookies. Amazing. But she also has got like a lot of like jewels, so she's like really fashionable. So like, oh. I feel like deep down she's like so me. Okay. But yeah. Except her. for like the cannibal eating. Except for that right. part. Okay, the rest that's good. Of her is so me. The rest of it's pretty good. Okay, awesome. I love it. And Kat, tell me who your character is. I play Lydia, and she's kind of like, she kind of like tries to get the children to buy from her, but they're like no. And then I think she's really protective of the children. She wants them to be safe and not go wander into the woods. Okay. She's also very fun. She's just like very free and does whatever she wants. Nice. So is she just another child or an adult in that area? Um, I'm pretty sure she's an adult. Okay. I gotcha. So another adult. But so you are trying, so where you are the quote unquote evil witch, yeah. okay, you are more of a little bit of a protector of Hansel and Gretel. So very good. All right. So we kind of have the the yin and the yang here. Okay. Um, so tell me, um, I'll start with Marin, tell me what the biggest challenge of doing a musical is compared to a play. And I know you were in a play because you were in a play with my daughter a couple <laughs> of years ago. 
So. Well, I'm definitely more of like a musical person. Okay. Like I've been singing like with like a vocal teacher since like first grade. Awesome. I sing. What I don't like about musicals is I can't dance. I'm comically bad at <laughs> dancing. <laughs> Dude, they'll never catch me on the dance floor. Okay. But um, like in comparison to plays, I like musicals better because I get to do that singing. Mm -hmm. And there's not as much. There's still lines. There's so many lines. Right. But there's not as many lines as plays and like blocking. There's less of it because it's more choreography. Right. And both lines and blocking are like very hard for me. Okay. So I'm definitely more of a musical person. Very good. And tell me um, where you go to school and how old you are. I am 15 and I go to Peters Township High School. Awesome. So I look forward to seeing you in more productions here then <laughs> as well. Awesome. And Kat, tell me about your thoughts, musical versus play. Have you done other, have you done plays and musicals? Have you done both? Yeah. Okay. Um, I definitely think musicals are more fun. It just mm -hmm. gives a little like kick to it okay. whenever you get to sing and dance on stage instead of just like standing there or just right. doing blocking. It is a little more challenging whenever you have to learn choreography and all the lines to the song, right. especially if you have a solo. Okay. And have you taken any vocal lessons or where'd you learn to read music? Um, I, yeah, I learned from school and I learned from church choir and my okay. vocal teacher. Excellent. All right, and how old are you and where do you go to school? I'm 11 and I go to Bethel Park. Wonderful, okay. This is awesome. So tell me um, how you first got involved with South Park Children's Theater. Maren? Well, my first ever show that I ever did, like theater at all, was in 2021. I did um, Lights of Jingle Bell Hill at South Park Theater. Okay. And I like heard about it through like, because I saw the show Wicked on Broadway for like mm -hmm. my birthday. And I saw that show and I was like, wow, I want to do theater. And so my mom looked everywhere. She looked for the place that was like easiest for us. It was close. Right. It was really accessible to me. And I've done theater ever since. That's awesome. Kat? Well, I started theater because my brother had been doing South Park Children's Theater for a couple okay. years. And my sister had done it too. And I was, I wanted to be like them so bad. Mm. And so me and my brother, we both did Princess and the Pea, and I had so much fun. My brother didn't come back the next year, but I did, and right. I've been doing it ever since. That's awesome. All right, and so tell me, um, what is it that is special about South Park Theater that's even different from maybe doing things at school um, or even just doing things at other theaters that you've been involved in? Yeah, Mary? I've done a lot of like different places. I've mm -hmm. bounced around a ton. Yeah. South Park Theater is like definitely my favorite because it's such like a community. It like mm -hmm. People from like all across like districts, they all come to South Park Theater. There's Peters kids, Bethel kids, Baldwin kids. There's all the kinds of kids. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, sorry. No, you're fine. And I just love it's the outside is awesome, and it's doesn't consume your life like a lot of other theaters. Like school theater, like it's like two weeks straight. You just every night like four to like 10 p.m. Yeah. But South Park doesn't do that. Right. It's very like easy to adapt the rest of your life with. No, I would agree. Very nice, honey. Kat, what about you? I do love South Park because it's outside, and you also get to like talk to the kids and mm. see what they're interested in, and try to like coordinate with them, like have fun, yeah. and you can be your character around them. I think that's really fun whenever we get to talk to the kids at the beginning and at the end of the shows. Right. I also love that it's outside in the warm or cold weather. True. <laughs> We've had some cold weather in the winter, in the fall, yeah. And everyone's just so nice. It's like my happy place to go to yeah. the theater. Very nice. Well, this is wonderful. I want to thank you both for being here um, with us in the show today to talk. And we will have frickin' frack when I come back to talk more about Hansel and Gretel, the musical. Hi, and welcome back to On Stage with Hansel and Gretel the Musical. I'm here with Elliot and Julie, who play Frickin' Frack in Hansel and Gretel. Thank you guys both for being here with me today. I appreciate Hi. it. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so first, can you tell me a little bit about your character and obviously how your character interacts with both? So I'm actually gonna start with Julie first because you are Frick. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so tell me, all right. Uh, well, my character, I'm the brains, okay? okay. I'm Frick. Um, <laughs> and I feel like, um, so I feel like we're sidekicks for the witch. Okay. And, oh, okay. Yeah. 
and we're like the comic relief. Yeah. Okay. And well, you, somebody's gonna be comic mm -hmm. relief around the evil yeah. person, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And we try and find kids for the oh. gingerbread witch to eat. Okay. So that's yeah. your job is to scout out the yeah. scout out the meat per se. All right. And then so Elliot, you play Frack. So tell me then if she's the brains, are you the brawn? I'm, How's that go? I'm not the smartest one. Okay. I'm probably I'm the silly one. I'm the silly one. Okay. And me and Julia are kinda like the co workers for the witch. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So you guys are the ones that find Hansel yeah. and Gretel and then yeah. kind of try and lead them. Okay. All right. So tell me what has been um, most challenging about this particular show or, or about a musical in general? I mean, this is like my first main lead, so I've never had okay. a, a hundred lines in my life. Okay. Never. And I like, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but learning all those lines have been a lot. Yes. So, a lot. so, so who reads with you, mom and dad, or friends, uh, or you usually just usually my mom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, well, that's a good mom then helping you out because yeah. that can be that can be a lot. Um, Elliot, what is the biggest challenge um, for you in this? It's probably in either reading the music or okay. um, getting the lines down because this is my first big role because. The biggest role I had before this was like 14 lines. Okay. Compared so, to 100. Yes. Okay, so you both have had like a big bump up in the amount of lines that you've had. So, yeah. um, great experience for you both, though. Mm -hmm. So, then let's go this direction. Tell me um, how old you are and what school district you go to. I am 10 years old and I go to Baldwin Whitehall Elementary School. Okay. <laughs> and you'll be in what grade? Fifth. Fifth. Awesome. Yeah. And um, I am nine years old and I go to South Park Elementary Center okay and I'll go into fourth grade okay yeah so that's a lot but that's you know why I wanted to interview kids of all ages first of all they can be involved but they can also be leads right yeah. so that's a lot going on all right so tell me how you got started um, in South Park Children's Theater how did you find out about it you know is this like you know obviously it's not your very first show but um, how long you've been involved there uh well, I actually kind of got involved because when um, I was little, I used to watch the shows okay. and then I said I wanted to try yeah. out for one and I actually got into my, luckily I got into a show, Little Red Robin Hood, and then ever yeah. since I just kind of fell in love with it. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, same question. How did you find South Park Children's um, Theater? So back in 2016, I saw Snow White and the Seven Fairy Godmothers. Which is also running again now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, also, I saw my sister Felicity be in Princess and the Ogre, nice. and I thought maybe I'll start with the summer camps, and then I started in 2021 with the theater camps. Perfect. So that was your introduction. And someone yeah. else had mentioned earlier, too, that uh, the camps were a good way to get involved. And I love that mm -hmm. you were once in the audience, and then now mm -hmm. you get to be on the stage. Like, how cool is that? Yeah. Okay. So tell me... Um, what makes um, South Park Children's Theater special for you? Even if you haven't acted anywhere else, what, what is it that you love about being at South Park? I mean, even if people are like in high school or elementary school like me, um, like we all get along, we all work as a team. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And Elliot, same question. What do you love about South Park? It's nice meeting new people and it's always like, you always say, hi, my name is Elliot or something like that. And it's very nice meeting new people. And there's all, there's, everybody's really nice. Awesome. So I'm just going to mention one quick thing here. So what do you, do you like or does it make you nervous to go out before the show in character to meet the, um, meet the people in the audience? I think it's so much fun because, like, you get to, like, say hi to, like, kids. Or, like, even if your friends come to see you, yeah. you get you have to still stay in character, though. Right, pretend yeah. like you don't know who they are. Yeah. You don't know me. Like, who are you? Right. <laughs> Elliot, what about you? It's, very, it's been very fun since I've been doing it. Because my first show, it was a Christmas show. It was a fairy tale oh, Christmas nice. carol yeah. inside. So my first show, you couldn't walk around because it was in the main stage. I know. That's the only part. Yeah, when you do the main stage, right, you can't see them. Yeah, but, but my second show, it, it, it's very really fun talking yeah. to, like, the little kids. Yeah, and just like I said, I think staying in character is probably the coolest thing that I've seen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Having that interaction. One of the hardest things, too. 
Absolutely, because especially like, you know, a relative or, you know, a friend yeah. wants to get you to crack, right? You know, make mm -hmm. you laugh or say something that you're not supposed to say. Yeah. Aww, that's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here with me today. <laughs> I really appreciate yeah, you welcome. sharing your thoughts. And to our audience, um, please come see Hansel and Gretel at the Outdoor Stage, South Park Children's Theater. It's on the corner of Co uh, Brownsville Road and Corrigan Drive, July 22nd through the 31st. Mondays are at 6.30 p.m., Tuesdays 10 a.m. and 6.30 p.m., Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Um, over the two weeks, you have eight chances to come and see the show, so please come join us, bring your chair, bring your blanket, and be ready to sing and maybe dance. Thank you. Mm -hmm.